Hello guys, Free here. Welcome to my channel. On this channel, I make videos around technology tips, career advice and inspiration, helping you elevate your career, earn more money so you can live a better life. Today, we're going to be looking and doing a review of a very interesting product or project that I came across. And it has something to do with AI. It has something to do with natural language, which you know, if you put those two together, I am all for it. So this particular product is called wit.ai wit.ai and it seems to allow uh, product owners or, or entrepreneurs or people who are just developing stuff to build natural language experiences into whatever it is they're working on so uh, this is what i'm going to be reviewing today i'm not actually going to go through a setup but if you're interested in uh i'm going to go through that in a little bit too before we dive into it guys if you haven't subscribed we you know we're trying to grow this channel make sure you go somewhere you subscribe there's a lot of content we're putting out we're trying to grow this so subscribe you might find something you like if you find it make sure you like it share it with somebody all right but that said let's go back into wit.ai this is something that a lot of people ai basically we've been talking about this is basically the future so uh, if you are a product owner or a product developer and you want to build some form of natural language experience into your app, right? There's one way you can do it. You can basically go back from square zero and try to use Spark or TensorFlow or something like that to basically build your machine learning model from scratch. But in the real world, I don't think that's what a lot of people want to do. So when I see products like this with AI or similar kind of products, it's always very fascinating to me because you can use it as a building block to then inject AI, to inject machine learning into whatever product it is you're building. So definitely something that I would want to pay attention to. Uh, this allows you to build natural language ex uh, experiences into products. It allows and enables people to interact with your product using voice and text. Okay. We know before how did people used to interact with applications. You either go to a form and you can click on a button, right? People would only click on a button. Uh, or you can go and click on this on a text form all right but today people are going beyond that they don't just want the form they don't just want the text they want to be able to talk they want to be able to make gestures and get some interaction with the computer so the human computer interface is changing a lot and if your application is just relying on text guys you might be you know not meeting up to the standards so a lot of applications today are going to be uh, requiring you being able to speak to it. Think, about, think Alexa. about Alexa. You basically can say whatever you want into Alexa and it gets it done. You're not going to sit there and be typing and texting and all of that stuff. That's so kind of, you know, 2015. All right. As of making this video 2020 and beyond, a lot of applications are going to be requiring text. So this is something to be thinking about and not just applications from a consumer perspective. Think about applications for enterprises, right? The typical way that, you know, products and enterprises have been built is to rely on, you know, some, some form and users typing and texting and all of that stuff in the old way. Just imagine you come into the office, okay, and you can just have like an Alexa for the office where it, you say, well, I want to see my sales report for the last year, you know, group by uh, month by month or group by my sales region. And it goes ahead and it does that stuff and it gives you back the result. Well, that would be pretty game changer, right? That would be very powerful. I think a lot of people will sign up for that. And you might say, well, but Fru, how is that being done today? Well, it's being done today, but the challenge is the way it's being done today is by you going to some uh, business intelligence tool, clicking the button, waiting for that report to come and all of that, right? What if you could just speak to some form of an Alexa? It does all the machine learning and, and, and does the research or figures out what you need and it brings that back to you, you know, maybe by your watch or by your, your smartphone or something, right? So we're kind of moving beyond the traditional reports that people have always been used to. So going back into what we're seeing here, uh, this is why, again, I haven't gone into more depth looking at this particular product. It just caught my attention. Definitely something that when I saw it, I bookmarked it and I know for sure I'll be coming back to it to see where it goes. So uh, a little bit more here, it says uh, for bots, easily create uh, bots that people can chat with um, on their preferred messaging platform. So I think that's interesting. 
mobile apps, smart home, wearable devices, it seems to be geared more towards you know consumer sites like B to C. But again, I'm always thinking about how to take some of these B two C applications and and apply them to enterprises. That's you know something that's gonna happen at some point in the future. All right. So let's see this one. Turn what your users say into actions. So I can say hi robot. It 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 changes that and turns it into an action that something can happen. Just imagine having to do your own machine learning to to build this. That would be a lot of lift to have for that to happen. But by leveraging, you know, products like this, you know, you get that first mile out of the way. So it seems like there's a pretty good usage there. Over 200 plus thousand developers, 132 languages and counting, and are all open to all. So it's open source, even better. Okay. So there's a documentation and some videos tutorial. What I'll be curious to see is the get started, uh, how that would all work. And I think they have a pretty good get started uh, discussion here. All right, so you can come in, you can, let's see, let's go back one more time. I think here it says, continue with GitHub, uh, continue with GitHub, and the Facebook uh, login is not going to be supported anymore. Oh, you will not uh, no longer be able to log in with GitHub. So just Facebook after that. All right, that makes sense. So let's go back to to uh, get started. Sign up with Facebook. Create a with app so you can sign up with Facebook. You can create an app. Pretty straightforward, guys. I might do a, a very hands-on demo on this at some point. I just haven't had the time to to go in. But the, the app caught my attention really quick. I thought I'll bring it out there for you guys that are building stuff with technologies and all of that. So train your app so you can create the app very easily all right and then you can train the app based on certain actions all right using text and examples which is just like supervised learning if you think about it that way and now once you train your app you can then deploy that app to detect based on what you've trained um, and then going in here it exposes some apis that you can uh, query your app so i think i'm liking this Okay, and here we're seeing that it takes, it does take uh, your query and it, it translates that into intent. And then based on that intent, you can invoke an action almost like if then. But so it's that middle layer between the natural language that it uses that and synthesizes it into an intent. And then based on that intent, it can, you know, create an action. And then you can add entities. So you can come in and say, set the temperature to 70 degrees. All right, that's my natural language coming in. It understands it, all right? And then somewhere in there, there is an intent, which is going to now be an action, like a an action that a machine can understand. And then it's gonna set, call a function or some action to set the temperature to, to, to the degree. And this is a confidence factor of what this action or what this intent is about. So you can say something and there could be many different intents based on what you say. For example, you know, set the temperature. Well, sure, set the temperature to what, all right? But you might say, you might come in and say, uh, I want the house to be warm, or I want the house to be comfortable. Well, that's what you said. I want the house to be comfortable, but what's the intent that could come out from that? There could be a lot of intent. One intent could be based on what you've trained. If you say, I want the house to be comfortable, you know, maybe, you know, reduce the temperature, play music, change the lighting. It could be a, a couple of intents that will come out from that initial action. All right. So it's not just, you know, query to intent. It could be uh, many ways around if I'm understanding what this is doing correctly. And I can see a lot of applications for IoT. That's just what we talked about. So does seem interesting. Next steps, it exposes an API, connect with app with Messenger. And there are some recipes that you can probably use out of the box. Let's see what those are. App traffic. So these are some examples of apps that have been built on that. But guys, I think it does sound interesting. I'm sure there are a couple of apps like this. But the quick takeaway and why I wanted to share this with you guys is there are a lot of people that are working on really neat technologies like this. We talk a lot about AI being the future, being the frontier, and everybody is like electricity. You cannot afford to be building an app, building a product without electricity today, all right? And the electricity of today is AI. 
you're always thinking about how can I inject AI into my project? How can I inject AI into what I'm doing? Okay, to make life easier, not to replace everything that you do, but to make life easier. If you can just speak and, you know, and based on what you say verbally, we can derive intent from that. And based on that intent, we perform actions and what you say can train this intent and it gets better over time. Guys, I think that's really where the future is going. All right. So with.ai, just a little nifty, interesting uh, project. I'm not sure who the... Um, it doesn't have any information about uh, who the developers are, but it does have a GitHub forum and it does have a Facebook a group. So check those out. I'm not going to go into GitHub or, or Facebook at this point, but check them out. If you want to join support, definitely do. But this is a, a very nifty uh, application we came across. So hopefully you, you know, found this uh, interesting. You found this uh, valuable in some form. All right, guys. Uh, this has been through if you haven't subscribed please make sure you subscribe we're creating really interesting content we're creating amazing content here on youtube please subscribe share it if you have any questions don't hesitate shoot me an email shoot me a comment i'll see what i can do thanks again for watching i'll see you next time